Power is back on in the Lorain County village of Grafton. First Energy crews spent the day repairing a faulty switch, work that virtually shut the town down all day long. The outage affected some 1,100 customers, homeowners, and business owners. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty joins us now from Grafton. And, of course, Dan, a lot of unhappy people about this whole situation. Yeah, the initial schedule from the power company, they said they'd have the power off from 7 o'clock this morning until 4 o'clock this afternoon. Talked to a couple of these business owners back here. They said the power came on about 3, so they worked a little ahead of schedule. But their doors were closed all day long, as you said. When the doors are closed, you're not making any money. While first energy crews went to work in Grafton, nearly everyone else stayed home. Crews replaced a faulty switch damaged by storm winds and had to shut down power to the entire town all day. No TV, no computer, no, no phone for anybody to call, no distractions for the day. Brad Newton stayed home with his wife Lori. She swept the driveway while he actually did some electrical repairs on his house, even though he had to wait a few hours to see if they worked. Their kids are in school, one of the few places with electricity. When they get home, though, the typical luxuries won't be waiting. Instead of playing on the computer and watching TV, they'll be out doing leaves and cleaning up the yard today. The police station and other emergency utilities had power too, but that's about it. Every storefront, restaurant, and gas station was closed. The Rite Aid had the lights out, but kept the doors open for some. The pharmacy stayed running in case of emergencies. A lot of people were upset that this work wasn't done overnight instead of in the middle of the day. But I talked to people in Village Hall, and they said they worked with the electric company on this and that it was a safety issue. The workers are dealing with 69,000 volts of electricity and need proper lighting. I made sure our open sign is flashing. Everybody's surprised we're open. Just barely. Joe Capolo worked in the shadows today and kept the local auto parts store open. We got a couple of generators going, phone system up and running, computer system up and running. All our garage accounts are calling us just like a normal day. A day most people in Grafton are glad is over. And just so you know, a lot of people also wondering why this work wasn't done on a weekend. And I talked to the people at Village Hall about that. Also, they said that Tuesday is their least busy day of the week. And as the lights shining behind me indicate, power is back on. Things are back to normal here in Grafton. Reporting live tonight, Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5.